Good morning, everyone. You are all in Madrid today because you believe in preventive diplomacy. And I do too, very strongly. In fact, it's one of the main priorities of my presidency. And that's why I'm particularly sorry that I could not be with you in person. I'm, however, glad to be able to deliver these remarks from New York. As you said into today's important discussions, I will make three brief points. The first is that preventive diplomacy is crucial to the promises we've made after the World War II. The United Nations was created in 1945. And since day one, prevention has been part of its DNA. It can be seen in the first line of its charter, which commits us all to saving future generations from the scourge of war. And it is seen later in the same document through a call to use all possible means to resolve disputes peacefully. So prevention is an essential part of the multilateral system we created over seven decades ago. And it has formed the basis of every framework we have built up since then, from international human rights and humanitarian law to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. As my second point, I want to say that prevention is happening. All over the world, diplomats and mediators are working to secure peace through preventive diplomacy. And in recent years, the United Nations has been enhancing its support to such initiatives. We have developed some valuable tools, including for example, a standby team of UN mediators, joint peace and development advisors, a new high-level advisory board on mediation. And we have seen some positive results on the ground. Local disputes have been solved before they have turned violent. National mediation capacities have been built from the ground up. Women mediation networks have received support and training. And shuttle diplomacy has kept peace processes on track. But as my third point, I want to acknowledge something important, which is that we are not doing enough. Overall, we are still spending too much time and resources responding to conflict, rather than preventing it from breaking out in the first place. The United Nations Security Council and the General Assembly made a loud call for this to change in 2016, when they adopted the twin resolutions on sustaining peace. And in doing so, they gave all of us at the United Nations a renewed mandate to act earlier and faster to prevent conflicts and sustain peace. On the 24th and 25th of April, I will convene leaders in New York to see how far we have come in answering this call. Today's event is vital to this process. It allows us to explore the lessons learned by diplomats, mediators, policymakers, and others on the ground. In particular, I welcome the initiative to develop an e-learning course on preventive diplomacy. This is the kind of innovation we need to see more of. Finally, I want to express my thanks to the organizers the United Nations Institute for Training and Research, the Sustainable Development Goals Fund, the Escuela Diplomatica de España. And I want to thank all of you for being in Madrid today. If we want to meet the goals of the UN Charter, and if we want to keep the promises made after World War II, we need a stronger focus on prevention. Thank you again, and good luck in the discussions ahead.